In this video, we'll balance the net ionic equation for K2S plus PbClO42. This is potassium sulfide. This is lead to perchlorate. So the first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation here. I can see that over here I have one potassium and two potassium atoms on this K2S. I think I'll put a two here. That'll balance the potassium. That also gives me two perchlorate ions. I have two perchlorate ions here, a lead and a lead, sulfur, sulfur. So we're good. This is the balanced molecular equation. Next, we can write the state for each substance. So sulfides in general are insoluble unless you have group one elements like potassium or sodium. In that case, this is going to be soluble. AQ, it's going to be aqueous, dissolve and split apart into its ions. Compounds with the perchlorate ion here, they're also very soluble. Put it AQ, another perchlorate, AQ. But the sulfides we said in general insoluble, lead to sulfide, that's insoluble. So it won't dissolve when these two substances react. It'll form this solid. This is a precipitate. And this precipitate, it falls to the bottom of the test tube. So we have a solid here for PBS. Next, we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. This will give us the complete ionic equation. On the periodic table, potassium is in group one, so it'll have a one plus charge sulfide ion two minus. Two potassium ions, so two K plus. I won't write the states now. Let's write that at the end. Then we have our sulfide ion. We don't know the charge on lead, but we can look at what it's bonded to. And this perchlorate ion here, the whole thing is one minus. Since we have two of them, that's two minus. This has to be two plus. So we have a lead two ion, Pb2 plus, and then we have two of these perchlorate ions. So two of the perchlorate ions. These are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, for the products we have two potassium ions, just like the reactants, plus we have two of these perchlorate ions, also like the reactants. And then we have PBS. And we don't split solids apart, this precipitate here. We don't split this apart in a net ionic equation. So we just keep it together, PBS. This is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. So I have my reactants here and then my products. So in my reactants, I have two of these potassium ions. I also have that in the products. Those are spectator ions, and we can cross those out. Two perchlorate ions here in the reactants and in the products. Spectator ions, which we cross out. What's left is the net ionic equation for K2S plus PbClO42. I'll clean this up, write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for potassium sulfide plus lead to perchlorate. If you notice the charge is conserved, I have a two minus and a two plus, net charge of zero. Over here in the products, neutral compound, net charge of zero. The atoms there balanced as well. Often you'll see the positive ion put first. Doesn't really matter. Does look a little nicer. And that's it. This is the balanced net ionic equation for potassium sulfide plus lead to perchlorate. Thanks for watching.